Monday nights belong to Blaze and Bishop Black at the Core 94. Also, a familiar face and fellow Sam Houston State alumni by the name of Troy came to talk about his new website geared to keeping business minds on their grind. Well, I want you to set a realistic goal. Right. Don't say, you know, I want $20,000. And you have never grind or you never really put any type of product out there for the market. Right. So I want you to actually grow with the site. Right. And you want them to win. I want you to win. Grindstein.com puts the power and future into the hands of growing entrepreneurs and pushes them to come out on top. Your name not even on it. <laughs> That's what I like. Because... I'm going to tell you something. It's not about me. Yeah. You know, you hear a lot of people say that, but they really try to make it about them. This is really not about me. It's a platform that I put out there for people out there that's hustling, uh -huh. young grinders, young hustlers out there, so they can have some type of direction. I remember when, when I first started, man, I didn't have any direction of, of where to go to get certain things done. I just know and knew what I wanted to get done. So with Grindstein, what it is, it's not something that's just in a box. It's a crowdfunding community. Uh -huh. So in other words, it's run by the, the crowd. It's run by the community. So it's not just about music. It's not just about inventions. It's anything. Whatever you out there grind. If you creating watches, if you creating rings, if you creating music, you creating the brand new wheel, you're going to reinvent it. Everyone's beloved King B made times the 100 most influential people in the world, even gracing the cover of the prominent magazine. But where there were fans and stands buzzling happily in the beehive, there were others who questioned her influence, preferring someone with a harder presence in social change, like that of Chicago violence interrupter Amina Matthews. Just when you thought leaving voicemails were pointless and racism was over, Clippers owner Donald Sterling clearly shut all that down. Sterling already issued an apology for his racist remarks about black people attending his games via voicemail and is currently under investigation. Now he can go join Paula Dean and Don Imus in the thinking corner. Lemon Clark Media sends condolences to the citizens devastated by recent tornadoes in Arkansas and surrounding states. To help those in need, visit www.redcross.org. Need to capture a special moment, a nice bio, or a press kit for your business venture? Visit www.lemonclarkmedia.com. And as always, check out Lemon Clark Media on Facebook, follow on Twitter and Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube.